brushing my teeth that I haven't even had anything for breakfast <laughs> but it's okay because I'm not really feeling super hungry today so it is currently 10.39 and it's Tuesday the 2nd of October I'm pretty pumped for today I'm sorry if the lighting isn't that good I currently have my blinds down but I don't want to put on my blinds put my blinds up because then it's too bright you know so anyways we're just going to keep it like this um, but today I'm pretty excited. I'm going out with my mom, so that's going to be pretty fun, pretty stoked, can't wait. And then I'm also going to be filming a main channel video possibly later on today and then editing another video. Also guys, this top isn't mine, it's my boyfriend's and I stole it because it's comfy and he's not getting it back. So <laughs> start off with hydrating my face. So I've washed my face, I've brushed my teeth, I feel clean and I'm ready to take on the day. I have my SPF 50 moisturizer from Skin Food, and I'm just gonna roll this in on my face. But yeah, so for those of you guys wondering, Gianna, if it's a Tuesday, why aren't you at school? It's holidays. I have holidays for two weeks. I have one more week of holidays, and then I go back to school. But I'm honestly pretty stoked. I'm seriously pretty excited. If you ask me. <laughs> So tomorrow I'm going to be hanging out with my friends and then I'm also probably going to be going to the gym and stuff so I'm pretty excited for that if you ask me. I don't know how I want to do my hair today. I might want to leave it down but I don't really know. It's kind of a little bit fluffy today but I don't know. I'm probably just going to leave it down. Hey guys. Oh, is it recording? Yeah. Hi guys, so I know I probably look really weird right now, but I'm currently doing a sheet mask <laughs> at the moment, so this is why I look like a ghost. Anyways, I just thought why not I vlog for you all, it's currently 2.23 in the afternoon and at 4 o'clock I'm heading to my friend Samantha's house and I'm getting ready for a party with my friend Samantha, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I went to the gym today. It's pretty fun. Then I got myself a tank smoothie, which is nearly gone. I practically get the mango zest. Sometimes I get the immunity shot, sometimes I don't. This time I didn't, but I just get the mango zest smoothie from Tank. It's actually really good. Definitely recommend it if you guys want to try a new drink. And then I went to the gym, got myself a smoothie. Then I came home, had lunch, showered, and then now I'm currently doing a mask because... You know, I love doing some sheet masks. I think they're pretty great. I would do like a get ready with me and do my makeup, you know, like film me doing my makeup for the party. But since I'm getting ready with my friends and that, I'm not really going to vlog it. But yeah, I just thought I'd vlog for you guys. You know, just like a little mini talk, sit down talk video because I haven't vlogged in a while. I haven't really been posting much on my vlog channel. Oh my gosh, my sheet mask is going everywhere. Let me just fix this. vlogged I haven't really vlogged in literally the longest time so I just thought it would be fun to talk to you guys and vlog and everything like that so yeah I'm currently on holiday mode because it is the holidays I have two weeks break from school today is Saturday so I'm going to the party today and then tomorrow I'm probably meeting up with one of my friends and having just a cute little picnic which I'm pretty stoked pretty excited for Woo, I can't wait but yeah, um, okay, so this is the bag, this is just the gems, so I'm, since I'm going to my friend Samantha's house, I'm bringing my gems, but bag just filled with outfits, because I don't know what I'm going to wear, and I just have a bunch of outfits that I decided to bring, because I'm very indecisive, and I'll just figure it out when I'm at Samantha's house, so, I have my bag full of my makeup stuff, and I don't think this is all of it, I'm still missing, I think, one thing, I'm not sure. I have to go through everything and make sure I've got it all. But I just thought I'll show you guys and show you all what I'm bringing to some of this party. 
It is so hard to talk with the sheet mask. I'm looking in the mirror right now and it's so hard to talk with the sheet mask. Anyway, so this is the makeup bag that I'm bringing to my friend Samantha's house. It's just this cute little bag that I got from the body shop. I got this when I purchased a set, you know, so it's a pretty cute makeup bag. I have all of my items in here. I think this is all of it. I'm going to just double check and make sure I haven't forgotten anything, but I'm going to share with you guys just what I'm going to be wearing tonight. I don't know the exact colors or shades yet because, as I said, I haven't really picked out my outfit, so I just have, you know, a bunch of beauty items, and yeah. So the first thing I have is the Essential. It's a beauty blender. I got this in Germany in April. Yeah, pretty cool. I love this beauty blender to death. I prefer it over blending in concealer or foundation with your fingers. That's what I need to bring. I need to bring foundation. That's the thing that I'm missing. So, I have that. Then I have this little cute brush. And along with this brush, I have this highlight palette. I got this from Andreas, my boyfriend, as a gift. It's pretty cute. I love this palette so much. It's this really nice color, and I really like the shade. And I just think it looks so pretty. So, I have this brush. This is the highlight brush. So, I'm bringing this highlight with me because I want to look extra glowy tonight because it's a fancy formal occasion. Then the next thing I have is my Fleur Secrecia Cherry Blossom Shimmering Lotion from Locatown. I love this body lotion so much. Oh my gosh, my sheet mask. <laughs> I love this body lotion so much. It's, a, it's just this really nice shimmering body lotion. I hope that it focuses. There we go. So I have this really nice shimmering body lotion. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to put it on because it's so soft, so smooth, and it's just a really nice scent as well. Then the next thing I have is the Essential. I recently topped up on this because I was low and I was running out, and it is the Lucas Pawpaw Ointment. This is honestly my lifesaver. I love this Lucas Pawpaw Ointment so much. It's so good. I definitely recommend it. If you're on the hunt for a good lip mark, I definitely recommend this. It's so nice. Oh my gosh. It works wonders. It's a little bit more on the pricier side, I will admit, but it's such a good price. Like, it's, I think, around $12, but it's definitely worth it. As I said, it's a bit more on the pricier side, but it's definitely worth it indeed. Then the next thing I have is my Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette. I love this palette so, 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 so much. I love Wet n Wild. They are a glue... Gluten, not gluten, they are a cruelty free makeup company and I love, 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 love this palette so much. As you guys can see, I really like to use these two colors. These two colors are the colors that I've been using the most. I haven't really used this brown or the darker brown, but other than that, I really love all of these shades. I think they look pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then I also use the white at the top of my eyelid and then I also use a bit of the gold along with these two browns to so just kind of give it more of a shimmery slash sparkly look. But I really like this palette. It's really cool. As you guys can see at the back, it just says Rose in the Air. Definitely, definitely check out the brand Red, Wet n Wild if you guys haven't yet. It's such a good brand. I really recommend it. I'm just making sure that it focuses. Here we go. Just Rose in the Air palette. Definitely, definitely recommend it if you haven't picked it up. The next palette that I might bring, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to bring it. <laughs> oh my god. I want to take off this mask. Oh. I love when you take off a mask, guys. I probably look really shiny right now, but this is just from the face mask. My skin's been actually pretty, pretty good lately. I just have, like, this one zit right here, but other than that, <laughs> So I'm just going to make that kind of sit up. Okay, so the next palette I'm probably going to bring, but I'm not too sure about. I haven't really decided. It is my Peach BYS palette. I love this palette so, so, so much. I actually got it from Kmart. But guys, look at how pretty the colors are. The colors are so adorable. They're so cute. I really love the, um, what's it called? I really like the lighter shades as well. Look at that, guys. They are so pretty. Oh, my gosh. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up that well, but. Wow, wow, and also here's a mirror. You guys are currently sitting on a pot of noodles, and my mirror's back there. That's why I keep looking at it to make sure. <coughs> I keep looking in the mirror to make sure that it's focusing on what I'm talking about, but yeah, you guys are currently on some noodles and on a calculator. But yeah, I really, really love this palette. It's really pretty, so I'm probably going to bring it. I'm not too sure. And these are the shades in the back. Oh my gosh. 
next thing I have is my Mario Badescu setting spray. I love this spray so, so, so much. This is the facial spray with aloe vera, aloe herbs, and rose water. I really, really love it. As you guys can see, I've like used a majority of it. It's hitting the bottom. I've used all of it at the top. I think I'm about up to here. I've got this much left. Uh, yeah, you guys can see I've got like this much left. But I really like this rose water. It's really good. It's quality free as well. It's also paraben free. Mario Badescu have honestly the best skincare range. If you struggle from acne or if, or if you have oily skin, they definitely have products that help with oily skin. For me, I have no normal and combination skin, skin so oh my god. Mario Badescu is such a cool skincare company and they have so many, so many different products and beauty ranges. So definitely if you are on the hunt for a good, you know, setting spray, I definitely recommend this one. Or even just a spray that can help rejuvenate yourself, but definitely pick up this. Also, if you are struggling with acne or if you have oily skin, I know Mario Badescu, just the whole range, definitely target and help people who have acne or, or who have oily skin. For me personally, I have normal and combination skin, so I sometimes my skin gets oily or dry, sometimes it's just normal. It really depends. I have a whole mixed skin, so I don't really buy a lot of Mario Badescu products often because they don't really target for my skin and they haven't really like helped my skin personally. But this honestly has, I love this product so, so, so much. It makes my skin feel fresh, makes my skin feel rejuvenated, and just helps me get pumped up in the morning. Even if I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm just putting on more moisturizer for the day, I'll definitely put this and spritz it on my face just because it helps to give a nice lather and just make your face glow a bit more. The next thing I have is obviously an essential it is my concealer because I'm going to a party tonight. I want to make sure I get rid of any redness and I just want to look overall quite glowy. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I think this is a really, really nice concealer. This is more on the pricier side. I think from my local supermarket, I got it for $20, which is quite pricey, but it lasts you a while. The brush is also really thin. Um, personally, this gives a medium coverage. And since I don't struggle with acne, um, I find this helps my skin a lot, but if you do struggle with acne, I don't think this would be necessarily the best concealer to use, just because it does not give that full-on coverage, but it gives pretty good coverage, just not the best, so just a warning out there. But I have the shade 15, Fib, since I have very fair skin, but I love this so much. It's definitely a great concealer, it definitely helps me a lot, and it also allows your pores and skin to breathe, so it doesn't clog everything on your face, which is essential and perfect. So the next thing I have is a mascara and I will admit I have to pick up a new mascara soon so if you guys have any mascara recommendations let me know down below. It's also a really, really nice packaging as well. So if you guys are on the hunt for a new mascara I definitely recommend the Maybelline Hyper Curl Volume Express. The next thing I have are two Wet n Wild brushes. These brushes are also cruelty free and do not test on any animals. They do not contain any animal hairs. But look at this guys, it says Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh, I really love these brushes so, so, so much. They're just really nice and white and they're very clean and slick. They give a really nice, just minimalistic look, which I really, really like as well. I mean, I don't know much about eyeshadow <laughs> brushes, I will admit, but I just love them. And also the bristles, guys. The bristles are also pretty nice as well. They're really cool. And um, this is the blender brush, and this is the flat eyeshadow brush. So I use this to blend up on my eyelids. And then I use this to just... <laughs> I can't speak English. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I use this to apply the eyelash... Not the eyelash. The eyeshadow on, and then I use this to just blend everything out. But I love these two eyeshadow brushes so much. Um, I got these both for two dollars at farmers I definitely recommend such a good brand really nice company as well they do not test on any animals which is amazing so definitely if you guys want to check out wet and wild definitely do so i'll link up a bunch of their products that i really love inside the description box down below so definitely check them out also any other product that i've mentioned in this video i will link down below as well the thing i have is the ox contouring stick i like to contour my face i contour just like on my cheeks down my jawline stuff like that but i really really like it oh my gosh it's just really nice contouring stick i have more of a darker shade i actually have two i have one dark <gasps> i have one dark and one light so i often blend these two together but often the dark shade does personally work for me so it's not too much of an issue but i really like this contouring stick 
pretty awesome. I have not really heard much of Ox Cosmetics before, but I saw this when I was browsing Kmart, and I thought, why not I pick it up? It's pretty cool. This is only $6. It works really well. Definitely recommend it. Eating like I'm underworld. Had my tattoos in Shibuya. Police think I'm of the underworld. 12 treat a nigga like he 12. How you looking up to me and talking down? Can't you see I am the big man? God level, I am the I am. Now film it with the drone cam and the pink like killer cam. Zoom on a stick.